Let's talk about Safari on the iPad and the private mode available there. So if you open up Safari on your iPad and in the upper left corner you have like a sidebar and if you open it up you can switch between the regular tabs and the private tabs. So if you are stuck in there just come back to the regular tabs. But if you would like to remove this option altogether, which means that uh, the private is not going to be even uh, there, then what you have to do is to go to the settings of your iPad, of course, and navigate to the screen time. If you don't have it set up, make sure to follow all the steps so you get to this page. And there are a couple of options, like you have down downtime, app limits, where you can restrict and um, like don't give access to certain things to to the iPad. So if you go to the content and privacy restrictions, there you can block all of the possible things. And uh, by default, it is disabled. And at the top, you have to enable the content and privacy restrictions. So click on that. And under it, there are many options. So you have, for example, allowed apps, you can disable apps, you can, for example, uh, in the allowed apps section, you can turn off Safari altogether in case you would need that. But if you come back and go to the content restrictions and then go to the web content, then by default it is unrestricted. But if you click on a limit adult websites, what this uh, makes the iPad is it just means that if you come back to the Safari and go to the tabs view, you're gonna find out that there is no option to even click on the private browsing. And if this was your goal, then this is how you can achieve it. And this means that the user is not going to be able to trigger the private mode and therefore all of the websites that the person visits are going to be saved in the history because it is in the main Safari tab. And of course all other things apply to it just like you would normally use the Safari website. But one kind of important thing to know about clearing history and website data is that after disabling private mode altogether then you can't really do it anymore. Like, of course, if you are working on a secret project or something and you would like to uh, go to the private mode so the websites aren't saved, well, you don't have that anymore. So let's say you would like to remove some website, you cannot really do it anymore after we disabled the, the private mode. Because if you go to the Safari settings, not the screen time restrictions tab, but the regular Safari, if you scroll down a bit, there is the option to clear your history and website data. But as you can see right now, it is grayed out, and that means that it's not clickable, you cannot use it. So after disabling the private mode, you cannot even clear the history and website data. So this doesn't work, but on the other hand, if you would download like a third-party web browser, let it be Google Chrome, and in that case, these restrictions don't really apply here, and you can still access the um, browsing of uh, the, I mean, the private tabs and all of the stuff. So uh, definitely something how you can use uh, that if you want to. You can use it in a Google Chrome, and you don't or are not allowed to use it in Safari. So this is pretty much how it works. I don't think that it is that complicated and hopefully this video helped you. In case it did, I would really appreciate if you left some feedback under the video. I will most likely reply to it because I try to reply to most of the new comments. So yeah, definitely do that. You can also leave a thumbs up to support the video to make it show up to more people in case it helped you. And for more videos like these in the future, don't hesitate with subscribing because it definitely makes you stay updated. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day and we can see each other in the future.